Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I just filmed this whole video and something is jacked up with my mic cable. So I need to order a new mic cable, I think. I'm, I'm using a different one temporarily. So hopefully, hopefully this video is fine and there's no weird humming, buzzing, whatever. It's probably super unprofessional of me as a professional YouTube channel to talk about that kind of stuff. But if some frustration comes through, that's why it's super late. And it was already late when I was filming that previous one. So now it's even later. Anyway, flannels, <laughs> I love flannels. So if you've watched my channel for any number of days, months, years, multiple years, you've seen me in dozens and dozens and dozens of flannels. I try to basically live in flannels. I love flannels for a variety of reasons that I'll talk about right now, but yeah. Flannels. This video is going to be talking about two specific flannels, the Canyon Valley flannel and the Canyon River flannel by Vertex. They're two, they're pretty much the same flannel. I'll get into the minor differences a little bit later. I'm going to start with just why I like flannels, why you should get a flannel or two or three or 10. And then I'm going to talk specifically about the flannel that I'm wearing and the couple flannels that are all bunched up now behind me that I had kind of nicer in the previous video. But flannels. Also, if you don't watch the rest of the video and you just want a flannel, code last line, I'll put it down here, we'll save 15 plus percent off at vertex.com off of everything, all the time. So flannels, why do you like flannels? Mike, is it because you're a hipster? Yes, no, not really. It's because they're uh, like a super multifunctional piece of, we'll call it a piece of kit, because I'm like a tactical guy, right? So a flannel is a very multifunctional piece of kit. So let's just talk about why. I love it because it is comfortable. Flannels are comfortable. There's no denying the comfort of a flannel. I would way rather wear a flannel than any other jacket that I own because it's comfortable and soft, feels good against the skin. But obviously there are other reasons, right? One is it provides warmth, but it not too much warmth, but a flannel is like, for me, I wear a flannel a lot of times, like a jacket, I'll wear it just like this, unbuttoned, I'll throw it on, and I'll go. Maybe it'll be 30 degrees outside and I'm just taking a quick run to the grocery store, I'll just toss on a flannel. Or maybe it's 60 degrees and I'm like, eh, it's a little bit chilly, I'll toss on a flannel. So there's a pretty wide range, like a wide, wide temperature range of where I find a flannel to be the appropriate piece of gear. Now, if it's a little bit colder, uh, there's this thing super popular in Colorado and any other states that see seasons, and that's called layering. So if you need to be a little warmer, you can wear a layer underneath, like a long sleeve layer underneath of a flannel, and you wear the flannel as the outer layer, or just as its only outer layer over a t-shirt, or you can throw a jacket on top of the flannel. And layering is important because as your activity level changes, as the temperatures changes, uh, obviously when the sun goes down in the winter months, it gets much, much colder. So you might wanna throw on another layer at that time. Layering is really important. And a flannel is almost always a part of kind of my layering system. Again, cause it's comfortable. So yeah, just enough warmth for those colder days, but also, you can wear it when it gets a little bit warmer. And if I could just live in a flannel all year round, I, I totally would. Like if I could live in a place that I could wear a flannel 365 days out of the year, I would love that. And I do live in the mountains of Colorado, so I'm kind of as close to being able to wear a flannel year round as possible, I guess. And then one of the other reasons, it's a pretty durable garment. Uh, you can get more durable, like a heavy duty canvas, wax canvas jacket will be a little bit dur more durable than a flannel, obviously, but most of your nylon type kind of active wear will rip very easily if you rub up against a tree or you're carrying brush or you're splitting firewood, whatever. So a flannel I like because it's a little bit more durable and it also offers a little bit of protection as well. So if you brush up against stuff again, the outer layer of the flannel will provide a little bit more protection from you. And it also provides protection from the sun. So again, I like to wear a flannel a lot of the times, I've been saying that quite a bit, but even when it's not that cold out, but the sun is still beating down, it provides some sun protection. Uh, and then I have this little trick, I've talked about it. 
uh, I go full bro mode with flannel sometimes. And the reason is because it provides a little bit extra neck protection. So if I'm doing something and I notice that the sun is just like beating down on my neck, can pop that collar and get a little bit of neck protection so I don't go full redneck mode. So yeah, relatively durable. It's relatively breathable as well. So again, especially if you just have it unbuttoned here in the front, you can roll up the sleeves. It's just it's just versatile. If, if it heats up, you can still wear it. Uh, but then if it gets cold, you can drop these down. You could button up, you know, whatever. <laughs> One of the big reasons I like flannels too is because kind of like my pants. So I did, a, I did a pants video. I love these pants right here. These are the Vertex Delta Stretch. These are the LTs specifically, but my favorite pants of all time. I did a video about it. I'll link it up here if I remember. But the video was I wear the same pants every day. And a lot of times I'll wear literally the same pants for like two weeks without washing them because I'm not really a dirty, stinky guy. So kind of same goes for flannels. The, the pattern and the material just kind of hides stains and dirts and stuff. And you can wear this for a long time without it just like showing dirt. So as long as you're not super stanky or got some like grody grody stuff on you, you can kind of wear it a little bit longer. And I just kind of, I like that. If I'm going on a longer trip or whatever, I can pretty much just throw one flannel in there and know that it'll last me through the whole trip. And then finally, I don't care about this as much because I'm a married man now, so I can look like a goober wherever I go. But a flannel kind of looks right at home in a lot of places. I could wear this flannel to church, fit in. I could wear it out to a restaurant, fit in. I could wear it out on a hike, fit in. I could split some firewood, look just fine. So I like the versatility of a flannel because it you know, just just works all the time. And it's one less thing I gotta think about, like, oh, I gotta wear something else here and I gotta wear something else there. I just grab a flannel and wear it anywhere. If I need to dress it up, I just button it up. And then I got a dress shirt, basically. So I really like that aspect of a flannel too. But again, I'm not a fashion guy. This isn't a fashion channel. I'm not gonna tell you what is good and what's not. But for me, it just works. Sweet, so let's talk about this flannel in particular. So Vertex, I've talked about it in some videos before. I've I've loved Vertex products for years and years and you can look way back in my videos and before I had any relationship with Vertex, I love their products. And their products keep getting better and better and better. Uh, more recently, I've kind of started working with Vertex. I don't work with them. I'm not an employee or anything like that, but I'm kind of like have partnered with them on some beta testing and user feedback on pre-release products and stuff like that. This flannel actually right here, I've had for months and months and months. This was a kind of a beta fit testing flannel that they sent out to me just to kind of try out, get some feedback on, see how it works. So I've actually been using this flannel uh, for way longer than it's been out. I just haven't really shown it because it's a beta product and you can't buy it and people would ask and it's not available. So I've kind of worn it behind the scenes, I guess, but. This is one that I've had for a while, and then now they just came out with the whole line. So there's four colors you can get them in, and technically there are two different flannels. This one is the Canyon Valley flannel, and this one as well is the Canyon Valley flannel. So I would say they're pretty much the same flannel, so just get whatever color you want. The other one is the Canyon River flannel, and those are these two colors here. There's a small difference, and that is this back basically seam is straight across. So that's a straight line across, and this front seam here is straight across. The only difference with the valley is that that back seam now has kind of stylized V in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. That V and same with this front. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just, my middle finger is right there. So that's really the only difference other than the color of them. They're the same material, they're the same fit. They have the same features, all the same pockets. So I'll just kind of use this as a demo and kind of grab these flannels, but you can know that either of those flannels, this all applies. So I'd say it's a pretty medium weight flannel. I've had flannels that are thicker and super, super hot. I don't really like them as much because they're really, they're not as versatile, I guess. They're really just like a jacket that looks like a flannel. Granted, I do like jackets that look like flannels, but they're not quite as versatile. And then I've had flannels that are much 
thinner. Uh, and they just, they actually just fall apart easier. I like a flannel that's going to last through the years. So those thinner flannels just kind of aren't quite as durable. They're not as warm, obviously. And then I've had flannels that aren't even really flannels. They're more like plaid shirts, but they're marketed as flannels, but they don't have that soft kind of brushed, comfortable feel. This is like, I don't know how to describe it any better. It's right in the middle. It has that brush, super comfortable, soft feel, and it's a medium weight flannel. So if you're just thinking in your mind, like, what's that flannel like? It's like a normal flannel. It is a 65% polyester, 35% cotton. The fit is pretty standard. This right here is a medium. So I am 5'10". I joke about this with a lot of people. I am a true barefoot five foot 10 inches tall, but almost everyone thinks I'm six foot plus, And that's just because something weird has happened recently with guys and talking about their height. So I've stood next to a lot of guys that say they're over six feet and I'm like looking them right in the eye. And I don't say that to brag or throw shade or anything like that. It's just, I want to give you a true and accurate representation of fit. So I am a true 5'10", uh, 180 pounds, pretty standard build, maybe air a little bit on the side of athletic, but not that muscular or anything like that. Pretty average 5'10", 180 pound build. I wear a medium in this flannel and I wear a large t-shirt. Every t-shirt in my closet is a large and it's a relatively tight fitting t-shirt. If you've seen my videos, every flannel I own pretty much is a medium. Almost every jacket I own is also a medium just because I kind of like that I don't know, a little bit smaller fit. So this fits true to size. Like if you normally wear a medium jacket and a medium flannel, you'll order a medium in this flannel as well. All right, so that's kind of the, the, the boring stuff. Now we'll get into kind of the, the features that make this flannel this flannel. So Vertex, you know, kind of uh, is a somewhat tactical brand, but much more branching more into the kind of general outdoor space now, but they have a lot of, we'll call it Vertex DNA in their products, which is kind of geared towards some tactical applications, concealed carry, stuff like that. So there are a few uh, kind of hidden pockets, we'll call them, in this lower portion here. So each side has a little pocket in here. So you can store little escape and evasion tools or whatever you feel like down in these pockets. Some people like to look, put like weighted items in there. That's for when you clear your garment for a concealed carry, you clear it and it flings out of the way easier. I don't ever do that because I find I can get access just fine without those weights, but they're there for you if you wanna put a little handcuff key or something like that. Also, these two little parts right here, I'll grab one and show you. In the collar will come with these little kind of plasticky stays. So this comes with it, comes in it, and that just adds a little bit of rigidity to this portion right here. I pulled it out, I don't really like that rigidity, but what that does is open up a tiny little pocket in here that you could put more little items if you want, a handcuff key or something, could slide right up in there. So you basically have two more kind of hidden pockets in the collar. Now the cut of the flannel is kind of a traditional outdoor jacket type cut where it comes a little bit lower in the back here, so that way it'll cover up if you bend, uh, water will drain off a little easier, stuff like that. You're not showing your booty crack to people. And it's also split right here for a little bit of more mobility. And it doesn't have like, I really hate when flannels have that like tail, basically the front and rear tail, like a dress shirt, because a flannel's not a dress shirt. I don't really know why it has that. So this is much more just kind of flat all around, which I like. Then we have two chest pockets on both sides. Let me see. So I got a mic right here, so this may be kind of loud, but the top one is a Velcro pocket here. So you can drop items. This is just a traditional pocket, Velcro. And then there is a side access pocket here. Sorry, I'll just grab another one because I'm sure that's weird on the microphone. But basically a standard pocket here and then a side access pocket with Velcro here. These are two separate pockets actually. So you can put an item here and you can put an item here and they won't touch. Two separate pockets and that's the same on both chest pockets. So here you go if you need to button up to dress it up or if it's just a little, a little 
colder or whatever. There's also two buttons in the wrist collar so you can tighten it up or loosen it up. I usually always leave these unbuttoned because I'm kind of rolling my sleeves up to wash my hands and doing that quite a bit. So I'll usually leave those unbuttoned, but you can button it up. Vertex is calling this an athletic fit, but I wouldn't say like, I, when I think of athletic fit, I think of something that's a little more trim than this. This is trimmer than your kind of traditional like giant flannel. I don't know if you can tell that much, but if you're a little bit of a bigger guy and you're like, oh, actually I don't usually like athletic fit stuff, this will probably be fine for you, um, but it's not like a tailored fit or anything like that, but it's not as bulky as, as a lot of other flannels out there. One of the other things is kind of the Vertex DNA. There are snaps. These lower three buttons are not buttons. They are snaps that look like buttons. I'll show you that in a second. But the reason is if you're a concealed carrier and you need to clear your garment real quick, you can pop those open and get to your gun nice and easy. And then, you know, snap it back closed nicely. So the snaps are designed to look like buttons. So they're kind of secret. So this is a snap here. You can see snap on the back side looks just like the traditional button there. So yeah, that's that's the flannel. How I managed to talk like 15 to 20 minutes about flannels in this flannel, I don't know, I ramble. Hope you enjoyed it though. But I love flannels. I think everybody should have flannels in their wardrobe. I am always packing a flannel for like every trip I ever go on. I love flannels. Granted, if you live in like Texas or Arizona, you might not you might not wear flannels quite as much, but you should still have them. Again, my code last line will save 15 or more percent off at vertex.com off of everything. It's a unique code in that anytime they have a sale, like a Memorial Day sale or something, and they give you like a Memorial Day code that saves you 30% off, my code also saves 30% off. So you can just always use my code all year round and you can be sure that it'll give you the maximum discount at vertex.com on these flannels and everything else. So. Last line, I'll put it down here. And then yeah, pair these with the Delta Stretch or a pair of jeans or whatever you want and you have a wardrobe that can go anywhere. And I love it. It's kind of funny actually, we were, so that's about, that about the end of the video. I'm gonna like do a tiny bit of rambling here and then I'm gonna say goodbye. So if you wanna peace out, you can hit that thumbs up button. But uh, for those of you that don't know, Ashley is pregnant. We're having a baby. We're having a baby boy due in January. <laughs> and, uh, Ashley, like most women probably, maybe some men too, I don't know, but like most women is already buying baby clothes. So she's like got many full wardrobes for the kiddo because she wants them to look really cool. And a part of it, flannels are such a, like such a main part of my life that she has been like searching out little baby flannels for, for our, our little boy to wear. So uh, if you ever feel like randomly sending me a little baby gift, little baby flannel, relevant to this video and I would love that. Yeah, but you don't need to send me anything. But I just thought it was funny because they came in the mail today. So Ashley brought these little like flannels and I was like, I'm doing a flannel video today. And she's like, you would. Anyway, <laughs> again, this is late. It was already late when I filmed the first video before my mic uh, gave me all these problems. And hopefully I don't watch this back and hopefully there's not like this, this hum again. Ugh. Pray for me, guys. All right, I think that's it for this video. Uh, comment down below. Feel free to ask me any questions about flannels or anything else, videos you wanna see, gear you want me to review down in the comments below. Always appreciate hearing from you guys. Obviously, hit that thumbs up button, share this video, save it, subscribe, whatever you do on social media. Do it. Cool, bunch of videos coming up. I've talked about them. They're coming up. Cool videos. A lot of cool stuff coming up. So I think that's it. I'm going to go get some shut eye. And until next time, guys, take care.